I had lots of questions on how we set up for brown. So, uh, you know, lots of people are, are scared of the skinny water situation, but it's it's not it's not hard at all. So here I'm going to set up this lure presentation first and show you exactly what I do. So come back here, Carter. So first, what you want to do is I always use my lunker lotion, and these herring, whichever you like. I like the yellow. I just like the look of it. Give a little squirt of the yellow on the back, and it adds a beautiful scent, to the, beautiful scent to the lure. So now, this is this is connected to braid. I've got about five feet, four feet of uh, 15 pound four carbon. So I'm going to let this line out. I have a line counter here. I'm going to let this line out to 30 feet. So I go to 30 feet. Lots of people think browns are scared and they get spooked, but they're good, man. So 30 feet right there on the counter. Now, after that, I want to get that lure down because it's, it's moving along and it just wants to come to the surface. I want to be about six to seven feet down. So I'm going to use my Torpedo Shark. It's, a, it's an inline weight that you can snap on. And I've used the OR-16 clips you can buy in the store. Anyhow, put that together. Now, this is what I do. Put it on the line so the hook is, the little pin there is behind the braid. So it doesn't drop off. Hold it. Okay, now once you have it on, once you have it touching the water, add, depending on how you, on your depth, but in, in 15, 20 feet of water, I'll add 10 feet to the the counter. So I'll go to, it was out 30, I'll go to 40. Drop it to 40. Make sure your drag is good. Set it in. And you're good to go. Okay, so that's for the lure presentation. Let's do the body bait. So over here, over here I have a Smithwick Road. It's a, it's a floating suspended bait. It's, man, it's one of the best. So, what I do with that is, same idea, I'll toss that back, set my zeros, I'll let this one out, most of the time I go 40 feet, I'll go 40 feet back, again depending on the water, but most of the time I'm in that 6 to, uh, six to 18 foot of water, so I'll go 40 feet back, and then what I do is, I'll grab my ninja board. That's the wrong side. I'll grab my red, red ninja board and I'll take the line. Hope you guys are seeing this. I go once, because it's uh, for, uh, mono, it tends to slip. So I go once, then twice into the eye or set up. Okay. So. Now I drop it over the side, and I'm letting that out. I usually let it out to about 80 feet. So it was 40 feet back, and 40 feet from the boat. So it goes to 80. I snap my line in, make sure my drag is good. Put it in the wrong holder. And we're good to go. And we're good to go. So it, it's not hard to do. Um, probably the biggest thing that I find people uh, come out here and try to fish with is heavy gear. You gotta have you gotta have light gear. These fish are are they're not massive, and and I for me is I tried a heavy gear before. You know, 20, 30 pound. Tried to use my salmon gear for the for these trout, and this doesn't work. So I use um, I use a lot of stinger spoons, Michigan stingers. The green alloy, we've had the, the black widow this morning work well for us. Um, ninja boards, it doesn't matter what board you have, but it it does uh, it does help to have good boards. These Okuma reels, the low profile, are amazing. They work well, that's with the 12 pound mono, 15 pound mono, I wouldn't go no bigger than that. Uh, so just to prove to you that this method works, Take a look in here. Oh, 
I'll grab one of the nicer ones. You want to come out and catch fish like this? It's early season. Let's get off the couch, get our gear, gear in, the, in the boat, and let's go. That's some beautiful fish out here in Lake Ontario. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day. See you on the water.